वेलकम टू यू जी सी नेट फ्री ऑनलाइन कोचिंग टूडे आई विल डिस्कस जान ट्वेंटी टू टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन कंप्यूटर साइंस क्वेश्चन इन टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड इन पेपर वन लास्ट टाइम आई मेड अ वीडियोज ऑन नंबर सिस्टम ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम देर इज वन और टू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन नंबर सिस्टम इन शॉर्टकट वे हाउ टू सॉल्व डेसिमल नंबर टू मीन्स ऑफ हाउ टू कन्वर्ट डेसिमल टू बाइनरी बाइनरी टू डेसिमल एंड एक्सा डेसिमल टू बाइनरी एंड ऑल आई हैव डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो सेम क्वेश्चन सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्कड अगेन इन जान ट्वेंटी टू टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन टूडे आई सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन इन टू वेज फर्स्ट इन शॉर्टकट मेथड अनदर ऑन इज ट्रेडिशनल मेथड Uh, the question is which of the following statement is or or true yes one the decimal number 11 is larger than the hexadecimal number 11 yes two in the binary number 1110.101 the fractional part has the decimal value as 0.625 is it yes one only or s2 only true or both s1 and s2 both are true or neither s1 nor s2 true this is the question before solving this question first you uh, first you try to find what is the decimal value of 11 and what is the decimal value of uh, what is the hexadecimal value of 11 so how to solve this one first we will go for traditional method the decimal number 11 will start 1 into 2 raised to 0 plus this 1 into 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 raised to 0 means any number raised to 0 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 means what 1 1 value is 3 is larger than the hexadecimal number 11 now convert this 11 in hexadecimal hexadecimal base is 16 octal base is 8 i hope you know all uh, number base systems is equal to now this one 1 into 16 raised to 0 plus 1 into 16 raised to 1 is equal to any number raised to 0 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 this one And 16 raised to 1 is 16 into 1, 16. So 1 plus 16 is 17. Now look at the total sentence. The decimal number 3 is larger than the hexadecimal number 17. Obviously, it is false because 3 is not larger than 17. This is traditional way you can solve. This is means what? S1 is false. Now. Look at shortcut method one one. Last video I explained in shortcut way. Just write the base two raised to zero, two raised to one one. Who are watching this video first time, please go and watch my previous video and look at this one. Then only you can understand. Okay, now two raised to zero is one, two raised to one is two, two plus one is three. Means what? One one is three decimal. Now this is sixteen. Similarly. 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1. So 16 plus 1 is 17. So 3 is not larger than 17. So S1 is false. So S1 is false because 3 is not larger than 17. Now try to solve S2. In the binary number 1110.101, the fractional part has the decimal value as point. Six two five. Okay, look at what is the decimal value and what is anyhow we'll solve a uh, complete question. Now this one in decimal before decimal last in S one you have seen you are moving right to left. Okay, means what this one into two raised to zero, this one into two raised to one. So before decimal you move left right to left. After decimal move left to right. So now look at zero into two raised to zero, this one, and one into two raised to one, this one into two raised to two, one into two raised to three. This is 
before decimal after decimal this 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 if it is decimal part after decimal you take it minus power okay so 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 now try to simplify this one this is 2 raised to 3 is 8 8 into 1 is 8 2 raised to 2 is 4, 4 into 1 is 4, 2 raised to 1 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2, 0 into something is 0. So, 8 plus 4 plus 2, this is before decimal point. After decimal point, this is 1 into 2 raised to minus 1, you may write 1 divided by 2 raised to 1. Instead of minus, take it uh, numerator, uh, denominator. Okay, I hope you know this one. 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 you may write 1 divided by 2 raised to 1 may just to eliminate minus okay 0 into something is 0 so write 0 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 you may write 1 divided by 2 raised to 3 i hope take it denominator this um, my, uh, to eliminate minus okay now we'll go for this is 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14 point 1 divided by 2 raised to 1 is 2. So, 1 divided by 2, this is 0 eliminate, 1 divided by 8. Okay, 2 raised to 3 is 8, 1 divided by 8. Now, this is 14, take it LCM, this is actually 2, this is 8, uh, LCM means what 8. So, multiply here 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5 divided by 8. LCM, simple in uh, high school mathematics. So, into 4, because 4 into 2 is 8, base is 8. So, 4 plus 1, because already base is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 divided by 8. 5 divided by 8 is 0.625. So, now, S2 is true, because after decimal point, the fractional part has the decimal value point. 6 to 5 after decimal point 6 to 5 so s2 is true okay i hope you understood this one this is for traditional method but it is not work in computer exams we'll go for a shortcut method it is given is before decimal point 1110 you write like this then write it base 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 so, 2 raised to 0 into something is this is 0, 2 raised to 1 is 2, 2 raised to 2 is 4. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 raised to 3 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14. This way, okay, shortcut method. Okay, point 2 raised to minus 1 means what 1 divided by 2, this is 0, 0 into something just eliminate that one. So, 1 divided by 2, this is plus 1 divided by 3. Okay, after decimal point you go for left to right direction so 2 raised to minus 1 this is 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 actually in uh, uh, as usual traditional method okay so 1 divided by 2 plus 0 1 divided by 3 so now what is the value 1 divided by 2 is 1 di plus 1 divided by 8 obviously 0.625 so 14.625 so s2 is true because the fractional part has the decimal value as 0.625 so answer s2 only i hope you understood this one anyhow in every exam uh, net exam uh, or set or gate exam one or two questions based on number system i hope uh, uh, you understood this one mm, really uh, your appreciation very uh, in first video uh, based on your appreciation I have developed this uh, video and also I need your support same then I can continue this video lectures okay now now look at another question which of the following correctly lists computer memory types from highest to lowest speed don't confuse it is based on speed not based on size okay so now look at secondary storage main memory cache memory and cpu register obviously registers are very fast 
than cache memory cache memory is very faster than main memory and main memory is very faster than secondary memory okay at least if you know any one point registers are very fast then you can check it in this case okay d uh, means d is 4 obviously this one or else the registers are very fast this one okay d is first means what register is first yeah we need to list it correctly okay register is first okay based on this one we can eliminate one and four or else if you know secondary storage is slower you know already it is very slow okay so if it is slow means our secondary storage is, takes last place so in these two okay means what you can eliminate one and two if you intersect inter, you take these two intersection one and four you are eliminated based on registry is faster um, four and fourth is eliminated based on secondary storage is lower so only remaining is c if you know only one answer you can answer easily you can eliminate anyhow i will go for in detail this is hierarchy of registers uh, means uh, sorry memory this is registers are very fast and cache memory is uh, next fast means uh, slower than register but uh, faster than main memory so up to these three are primary memories and next are secondary memories so keep in mind secondary memories are slower but size wise it is huge it means what increasing size but cost also decrease this is cost also decrease and size increase in this manner but in bottom up approach cost is increase and also speed is increase bottom up approach and top down approach is size is increase cost is decrease okay you keep this one for memory relate in future any question it may ask in different way that's why so uh, i hope there is no doubt in this See, registers are very faster than cache memory, cache memory is faster than main memory, main memory is faster than secondary stories, all these. So, uh, option C is right. Now, look at one more question. Which of the following is a characteristic of web 2.0 applications? Multiple users schedule their time to use web 2.0 applications one by one. Web 2.0 applications are focused on the ability for people to collaborate and share information online. Web 2.0 applications provide users with content rather than fac uh, facilitate users to create it. Web 2.0 applications use only static planes. Actually, without knowing Web, web 2.0, it's very difficult to answer. This is Web 2.0. Is uh, recently it is launched actually. Uh, for this example of 2.0 includes social networking sites and social media sites blogs wikis and uh, facebook twitter and all means what and the best answer is web 2.0 applications are focused on the ability for people to collaborate and share information online this is a recent uh, development actually based on that they ask the current trend and technology but this type of questions it's very difficult to answer anyhow you just um, in presence of mind you can think and I can answer so answer is B is right now look at question number uh, next question read the following two statements information and communication technology ICT is considered a subset of information technology first one second one the right to use a piece of software is termed as copyright which of the above statements are correct is or correct okay both may be correct neither one or two only two only one so now look at question uh, one second information and communication technology is considered a subset of information technology in question itself there is an answer it is false statement because information and communication is a larger than information technology because information technology is the subset of information and communication technology it's not reverse okay look at the ict is larger than 
IT, IT is information technology part of ICT. So, uh, intentionally they are created doubt, means they are created some mess, some confusion. Information technology is a subset of information and communication technology. So, but they have given reverse order. So, obviously one is false. Now, we'll go for second one. The right to use is a piece of a software is termed as copyright. Obviously, um, for looking this keyword, you can answer this is option two is right. So, for this in, uh, information and communication technology, I mean, first of all, we'll go for information technology is the application of computers to store, study, retrieve, transmit, and manipulate data or information often in the context of a business or other enterprises. IT is considered a subset of information and communication technology. So obviously in for, um, first statement is false. Second one copyright is a legal right created by the law of country that grants the this is I have copied directly from Wikipedia. Uh, right to use is a piece of software is termed as copyright. Okay. So uh, only two is right means only a second statement is true okay or correct now look at one more question I'm sorry all questions are over there are four questions asked in Jan 22 2017 I think five questions this is first one based on number system this is based on memory management this is based on current trend and technology then this is based on uh, information technology. So uh, there are four questions asked in uh, Jan 2017. Uh, I hope I, I try to clear your doubts. Please inform your friends. Subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.